Hi folks, this is Dr. Don. Let's take a few minutes and walk through the Lab 6 Remix. We've had some questions about it and some people are uncertain how to proceed. So I want to just kind of take you briefly through what you need to do. Here is the Lab 6 Remix, the way it's written up. And of course, everything else at the top, you're probably pretty familiar with. Let's go on down here. Remember, always load the libraries, load the data if you've got that. And here, we're given a choice of that we need to answer one of these two research questions. So the first one is, is there a difference in total SAT score for students with a low and a high high school GPA? Okay, now that's reminiscent of one of the examples in Lab 6 in which we're comparing the means. These would be quantitative variables, high school GPA, high and low, and since we've got a group of students here, we'd be comparing the means. That sounds familiar, one of the examples. The other question is, are the mean, math, verbal, and total SAT scores different for the students? Now this doesn't have a categorical variable, like the high school high and low GPA, but we've got three quantitative variables. So that would be the ANOVA, another example in the second rehearse in uh, lab six. Most students I feel, and in my experience have been, will choose the first one. It seems to be the, the friendliest, but let me tell you the ANOVA is just uh, as, as easy and you can pick that as well and follow the example. But let's go ahead and scan down here. The first thing that we're telling you is that you're going to have to insert your own R chunks. And that's all you've got to do there is find the, the little green square with a plus, click on that and insert R. And that'll give you a blank code chunk that you can work with. You'll probably also have to do some typing, just like you would with a term paper. And remember in our markdown, we can type pretty much just like we would with Word or some other word processing program. So the first step, it says read in the data. Always got to get the data in, just like we always load the libraries. And it says save to a local data folder. And if you don't remember how to do that, you can go up here to Code Chunks and there's a uh, look at one of the Code Chunks. It'll show you an example of how to save to the local folder. Always got to, you know, state clearly what, you know, your research question is, the one you're choosing. Always begin by stating in, in words the null hypothesis and the alternate hypothesis. One thing I don't mention here. Uh, but you should always do when you're doing research. Before you do anything else, you should also set your significance level, your alpha. And traditionally, we'll use the 0.05, which is 5%. We don't want to be wrong more than 5% of the time. So that would be the significance level, as you should set as well. And then it says to follow the downy infer process and gives you the steps there, uh, the gross steps that you could go through and follow that. And then down at the bottom it says, remember to always begin by exploring the data, always state the non-alternative, we mentioned that, and include a visualization. So we're going to do question one, and that comes from the example is in lab six, uh, rehearse one. So I'm going to click over there to that. And here is one sample, one mean. We've got two samples, two means. So I'm going to click down here to the bottom. And it's got a similar question. Here our categorical variable is the identified sex, males and females, first year GPA, different, different uh, variable for us to use. But this takes you through the steps. And what I would do would just be to uh, type this in pretty much into your, your um, worksheet and then load these, you know, follow these code chunks. Uh, and you'll probably need to use, you know, all those. We've already um, loaded the uh, SAT GPA 
uh, but then we're creating a, a version of that, a data object. And then we're starting to um, go through the invert process. This first one is specify the step, excuse me, specify the relationship between the two variables, and then just follow down these code chunks. Um, insert the blank ones where you need them, type in something if you need to add something to tell you where to go, and uh, follow through these things. Now, you don't have to answer all the re, uh, reflection re questions. You can just ignore those in your exam, or you can answer them for your question if you want, but it's not required. You just follow through these steps, and it's pretty straightforward. And then when you finish up, you will have the, the graph, of course. You'll calculate the p-value. You'll compare the p-value to your alpha level of 0.05. And then that'll tell you whether or not to reject the null. We want to look at a confidence interval, another way of doing a hypothesis test to see if our uh, null value is in the interval. And then we're going to do the theoretical. Remember, we would normally have to test the assumptions for the theoretical. But that's really all you've got to do. Of course, state your conclusions. What did you find? You know, what is the 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 result of your analysis. So.